Hey, welcome back. And um, you're going to, on scrap paper or on your whiteboard, find the sine of A over 2, given that the cosine of A is 4 fifths and A is between 0 and pi over 2 inclusive. And then you're going to find the cosine of A over 2 um, with the same given information using your half angle identities. And when you're ready to go over the answers, resume the video and we'll work through them together. So the sine of the angle over 2, we're going to need the sine um, of the half angle identity. And since we're in quadrant 1, which was part of our given information, we're going to use the positive square root of 1 minus cosine of a all divided by 2. So that's going to be square root of 1 minus, and then we're going to substitute cosine of a with 4 fifths in the identity. And that is all divided by 2 and under the square root. Again, we're using the positive square root um, as opposed to the negative square root in the identity because our angle is in quadrant 1 where everything is positive. So now simplifying 1 minus 4 fifths, we need a common denominator of 5. So 5 fifths minus 4 fifths is 1 fifth. And then dividing by 2 is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal 1 half. And under our square root then, we have 1 times 1, which is 1 in the numerator. 5 times 2 is 10 in the denominator. And when you have a square root of a fraction, that's equivalent to the square root of the numerator over the square root of the denominator. And we're going to realize that denominator by multiplying the top and bottom by root 10. And that's going to simplify to root 10 over 10. And that is the sine of our angle over 2. Okay, for the cosine of a over 2, we're using our half angle identity for cosine. Again, the positive square root because we're in quadrant 1. And so we have the square root of the quantity 1 plus the cosine of a. And cosine of a is 4 fifths. And that is divided by 2. Then we'll add the uh, 1 plus 4 fifths, which is 5 over 5 plus 4 over 5 for a total of 9 over 5. And dividing by 2 is the same as multiplying, whoops, multiplying by the reciprocal 1 half. And that gives us a square root of 9 tenths, which is 3 in the numerator and a root 10 in the denominator. Then we're going to rationalize the denominator multiplying by root 10 over root 10 for a total of 3 root 10 over 10. And that would be the cosine of the half angle. 